Hey guys, welcome back to another tips and tricks video on the school zone. So I got a fun one for you today. I'm gonna be showing you how to get into the castle armory without the Minutemen. But first, in case you didn't know, this is actually a sequel video to a video I posted not too long ago about how to claim the castle itself without the Minutemen. So you definitely wanna go back and check out that video first because uh, that will explain everything. So we're here at the castle now, we've claimed it. We've even gone into the basement tunnels all without the Minutemen. But the one thing I couldn't do in that last video was get into the armory. Basically the last room that you can get into here at the castle, the sort of reward room for all that. And uh, we were blocked by a computer and a maglock door, but I'm gonna show you in this video how to overcome that in a very interesting way. Now, normally I have Kate as my companion, but I wanted to bring Nick along just to answer a question a lot of you guys had in that last video about whether he can access the computer. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over into the tunnels and I'm gonna show you what happens when he gives that a try. Here we go. All right, so if you didn't know this can be cleared, then check out that last video. I'll put a pop-up link in the description in the iCard above. Okay, so let's just head right over to where that is. I think this is the way. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is where Sarge was. All right, we took him down in that last video. And then here's the door we can't get through. You want me to take a look at that terminal? You just say the word. Okay, well, that's exactly what I want you to do, Nick. So let's give hey. it a try. You know something you need? Think you can unlock that terminal. Good plan. All right, go to it, Nick. Right. Let's try a slightly different approach. You do that. Hmm. Sure, that was gonna do it. Not that either. Don, it's not gonna budge. All right, let's give him another try. Come back. Hey. I'm all ears. See what you can do. Sure thing. I'm locked out of this one. Okay, and I'm gonna give him just one more try. Hey. Go ahead. Need your expertise. Done and done. Sorry, boss. This one's beyond me. Okay. So I had him try three different times, not because I was trying to prolong this video for that extra ad view money that all the trolls always keep saying. I did that because if I didn't have him try at least a couple of times, then people would comment, oh, you should just yeah, try again. You know, maybe you would have got it on the second or the third time. Okay. So I answered that question and the trolls question. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is that you can't actually have Nick unlock this terminal. I believe only Ronnie Shaw can access this terminal and get through those maglock doors. So that's not the way that we're gonna get in, all right? But I wanted to show that because that question got asked quite a bit and I wanted to try to put that little theory to bed, so to speak. Okay, so now that we know the answer to that question, let's go ahead and head back. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is show you the real way to get in and where we want... <laughs> Body parts keep falling through. By the way, I just wanted to let you guys know, someone said, you know, it's no good claiming the castle. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Uh, it's no good claiming the castle without the Minutemen because all these little eggs and the Myrler Queen are not going to despawn. Uh, but here's the thing though, okay? If you don't like the Minutemen, you don't want to mess with them, but you still want the castle, then you could just build over this stuff. All it would take is a concrete block put right here 
you know? If I was to build this place up, I would create the ground floor at maybe like two feet high and just cover the entire inner courtyard with concrete blocks. You know, I'd want to do that really anyway, because who wants all this scree around here? You know, we won't want to have a nice smooth floor. So once you do that, then all this junk would be basically under the ground and you wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, just wanted to answer that question. Once again, a comment from a viewer. But here's the gateway that we're trying to get through. The armory is right behind this door. When I go into settlement mode, all right, I can build stuff. I can even scrap stuff. I wanted to, here, let's scrap that just to show you. But I can't scrap this door, okay? So there's got to be a way to get in. And the way to get in was actually suggested by a few of my viewers. They thought it might be possible to get in using the rug glitch and a fast travel mat. So I tested it and it works. So I really appreciate those kind of suggestions from you guys. Anytime you guys have tips that you want to share with me or share with the rest of the viewers, leave them down in the after school club. That's what's going to make the after school club so special on this channel. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to use that rug glitch. And in case you haven't encountered the rug glitch before, don't know what it is, you'll get to learn about it right here. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, the fast travel mat is very well hidden. It's actually under the Let's see, under the resources tab, under miscellaneous. So here we go. And it looks like I'm gonna need some cloth to build it, okay? So not a problem. Let's just run over here real quick and scrap a bed or something. Shouldn't be a big deal. I thought those were sleeping bags. We could have scrapped those. Here we go, scrap this bed. Perfect, and then I can store this rug. Okay, we should be good to go now. So here's the way the rug glitch works. All right, you wanna set down an item in this case, I'm gonna angle it this way to get uh, the most surface area. All right, and then you're gonna go into your decorations, floor coverings. In this case, we've got one stored. There we go. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this rug right up next to a fast travel mat. Okay, now, it may not be close enough, but let's give it a try. Now, if I hold down the select button, yep, I have to move it just a bit closer. A few moments later. Okay, so there we go. All right, so both of them are selected. I'm going to set this down just so you can see. All right, they don't, one doesn't have to be on top of the other. They just have to be really close. And I'm going to select them both. There we go. Okay. So this will work with anything really that's touching. Then you can actually group items together. In this case with the rug, it allows me to slip this fast travel mat underneath the uh, armory door. Okay. So I'm gonna get, it has to be blue, of course, for it to work, but I can get really, really close. Patience. I wanna get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Okay, that should be good enough. I hope it's good enough. I got a little farther under the door in the test, but you get the idea, okay? So the fast travel mat is right there. The majority of it is actually on the other side of this metal door. So what we can do now is we can actually fast travel right here back to the castle, and we will appear on this fast travel mat, which is gonna put us right in this door, but hopefully it'll spawn us on the inside of that metal door, which worked in my previous test. Okay, so let's test it together here. And the cool thing is I can go right from the castle to the castle. Let's see what happens. 
Bingo, I am on the inside of the door. All right, the fast travel mat is actually buried underneath the metal here, but it still worked because I was closer to this side than the other side, and we are now in the armory. All right, how cool is that? What's up, Nick? Okay, so there are a couple of advantages and a couple of disadvantages. First of all, the disadvantages is that I can't push this button and open the door, all right? It still needs to be opened by the Minutemen, okay? Same with this door down here. All right, that door won't fully open. When I go into workshop mode, I can't deconstruct this door either, okay? Now, one of the questions you might be asking is, well, maybe there isn't power to this door. That's totally possible, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that theory out. I'm gonna create a generator. Okay, looks like I have enough to create a medium generator here, which should be enough if that's the problem. I'll set it right here, attach wire, and I'll attach the wire to right there. Okay, well that lit the room. Unfortunately, it does not power this button, okay? So those are the disadvantages of this little theory. All right, and by the way, you can't scrap this rubble either. But here are the advantages, because right through this archway here is a door that we can open, and it does, in fact, open into the armory. So, bada bing, bada boom, there we go. We got everything we wanted in here, from mines, to supplies, to stealth boys, to baseball grenades. Okay, we even have a little armor workbench and a weapons workbench. Okay, but here's the best part. Excuse me, Nick. We even have some uh, some mods here we can add to uh, laser guns. But here's the best part. We got the artillery schematics, and we have some uh, supplies to build those with. All right, this is the thing I was missing to make the uh, the castle complete without <laughs> without the Minutemen. And then of course we got all of these, which we can repurpose upstairs as well. All these traps. Got a fat man. And we have some of those artillery smoke grenades. These artillery smoke grenades are used in conjunction with this artillery schematic. And then we just have some fusion cells, some more mods for laser guns, laser muskets. All right, this was a pretty sweet score. We even have a mini nuke. That is how you get your hands on all of the items in the castle armory without having to side with or bring along the Minutemen. All right, guys, so that's how it's done. It can be done. It does require a little bit of a glitch, but it doesn't require a mod. And you know what? In all of my games, I never use any exploits except for two, and I've said this in my settlement videos. The two exploits I use, you know, somewhat frequently are the settlement size glitch and the rug glitch. Those are the only two glitches or exploits that I use in any of my games. So I actually don't feel too bad about using that to get in here since that's a, a glitch I've used plenty of times before to get items in just the right place in my settlement. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is the answer how to get into the armory and you can get your hands on all the goodies in there, including the artillery schematics. Now. If you want to fast travel out of here, unfortunately, you will probably have to fast travel somewhere else and then uh, walk back here and then remove that fast travel mat because I think, let's just give it a try. And we are right back where we started. Okay, so to get yourself out of here, what you'll probably have to do is just fast travel to like one of these nearby places. You know, maybe even Spectacle Island if you have a hazmat suit and don't mind swimming. But one of these other places right here, you can just walk back over, remove the uh, rug from underneath the uh, armory and uh, store it. And then if you ever need to get back into the armory, you just put it down there and do the same thing. You know, most likely you'll just want to visit the armory once to clear out all of the goodies in there and get that artillery schematic. And you probably won't want to head back in there again. But 99% of the rest of the castle is yours from claiming it as I showed you in that last video. And then this was the last piece of the puzzle getting into the armory. 
Now to any of the trolls out there who thought this was a longer video than necessary, just remember that I'm answering questions for people that leave comments. Things like whether Nick could have hacked that computer or how to do the rug glitch or, you know, I could have really sped through this quite a bit faster, but then I just have to answer a whole bunch of questions in the comments section. So why not kill two birds with one stone? That's the whole purpose of a tutorial, all right? To be as thorough and detailed as possible. All right, hope you guys had fun. Hope you learned a little something. Be sure to check out my Game Tutor playlist for all kinds of more fun tips and tricks like this. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I do trivia walkthroughs on my channel as well as Easter eggs and all kinds of other fun things. Make sure you hit that like button and share this video around and we'll see you next time on The School Zone. Peace out.